This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Gabriel, appreciate you joining us this morning. I know you got a busy next couple of weeks training to make this Team USA roster. You guys have the inter squad series coming up on the 26th and 27th in Cary, North Carolina. A chance to make that roster play Chinese Taipei and actually then play in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, you have the unique experience of a teammate of yours, Hagen Smith, uh, playing on Team USA. Have you gotten a chance to talk with him? about maybe that experience and how that made him a better pitcher? Yeah, I was uh, I was talking to Hagen about it a little bit, um, and he was just saying enjoy it. He said it's a, it's a cool experience, and, uh, you know, you're playing with a lot of good players from other schools, so he was just saying enjoy it and have fun. And, um, you know, he's just, he said it's going to be one of the better baseball experiences I'm going to have. Yeah. Did, did you grow up thinking, I mean, was this one of the, the goals that, when did this kind of goal become a reality? Maybe that's a better way to to face it or to, to ask the phrase the question. When did you first start thinking about the opportunity to to play on a, a team and represent your country? And um, has that reality truly sunk in with you yet? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was always a goal of mine since I got into high school. Uh, growing up, I never really thought about it, but as I was playing high school and doing all the travel ball stuff. Uh, I always thought how cool it would be to represent our country. And so I did a little bit of a USA event my junior summer, and I ended up getting cut from the, the USA team. But, um, yeah, it's always been a, a goal of mine to represent the country just because it's a, you know, a special opportunity. How motivating is that now, Gabe? I mean, you, you kind of saw where you were in the pecking order then. Uh, you've had a great freshman season. How motivated are you to make this team after what happened a couple years ago? Yeah, I'm going to – yeah, I'm pretty motivated. I mean, it's always in the back of your head. Like, you didn't make the team when you were younger, and it's kind of just like a – yeah, it's motivation. I mean, you just want to prove everyone wrong and kind of show why you should you deserve to be on the team. And so I'm going to go out there and just, you know, compete, and hopefully uh, it turns out well. Gabe, how does a kid from Aptos, California, wind up in Fayetteville, Arkansas? I, I know that – Dave's recruited a, a Cali kid or two, but how'd you wind up in Fayetteville? Yeah. Uh, um, well, Coach Hobbs is from the West Coast, and so that helped a little bit. And he saw me, he actually saw me playing out there when I was, uh, I think, in seventh or eighth grade. And he didn't recruit me when I was that young, but that's when I first met him. And then I ended up getting surgery and stuff. And then my, my junior fall, I was playing at an event where uh, Coach Hobbs saw me and I got uh, recruited by them a little bit after that and took a visit here. Um, ended up committing to a different school my junior year, but then um, I realized I wanted to be in the SEC, and Arkansas was the only other spot I wanted to be. So once I uh, decommitted, I got back in contact with Coach Hobbs and ended up, ended up working out. But, um, yeah, it was a big step. And my, I mean, Ryder Helfrick, who's on the team, is a, a good buddy of mine from California, too, and he was always trying to get me to come here. And so... There's a lot of factors going into it, but I couldn't be happier with the decision. Gabe Gackle with us here on the um, McClarty Daniel Hotline, Razorback pitcher. A lot of disappointment with the way the season ended, but the Razorbacks had such a, a tremendous regular season. Take us inside that locker room as that regional ended, and um, you know what was that interaction like, and, and seeing some of your teammates that, that you may not uh, ever be in a locker room with again. Take us kind of behind the scenes in the uh, – you know, kind of the closing minutes there of the of, of the regular season, in the postseason. Yeah, uh, I mean it was just it was super sad. Uh, there's a lot of older guys on the team, and for some of them, that was the last baseball game they're ever going to play in. So, for me, just looking at it, I was just I more felt bad for the older guys that were wrapping up their careers. And um, you know, we had the goal of Omaha, and we started fall ball, and to fall short of that, it definitely hurt a little bit, just because we put all the work in. Um, and it just didn't turn out the way we wanted. But, uh, you know, baseball is a hard sport, and the postseason gets a little wild. So, um, you know, we were we were pretty frustrated about it for a while now, but um, I think we're starting to move on, and we'll start building for next year. Gabe Gackle with us here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Gabe, you mentioned kind of your familiarity with Ryder Helfrick, a big reason why you ended up here kind of like Matt Hobbs. But also, it's nice to kind of have Christian Fouch there going through this USA process with you, your current teammate here in Fayetteville. 
how kind of reassuring is it that, I mean, you're going probably as, as east as you've ever been uh, to have someone that you kind of know and maybe another baseball guy or two that you played high school with too? Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, you know, me and Christian are going to be having the same plan as of, like, throwing and lifting, and so it's going to be good knowing that I got another teammate there that I'm going to be able to do it with. And, um, you know, I'm sure it'd be fine if I went alone, but it's always nice having a familiar face that uh, so that I uh, am comfortable. But, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be fun doing that uh, event with Christian, and um, hopefully it goes well for both of us. Gabe, you had a really good freshman season. You led the team in saves. You're an All-American by several different publications, and now you're going to transition to your sophomore year. What kind of role have maybe Dave Van Horn, Matt Hobbs mentioned to you? I, I know some of our listeners think it's the Friday night guy. Uh, have you had a conversation with them about that just yet? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, we've mentioned starting, and um, I think we're going to test it out, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. It's so far away from the season, but, um, you know, I, I'd be excited to whatever role they want me to be in. It's a, uh, it's an awesome place to play, and you don't care too much about the role you're in. You just want to pitch at Arkansas just because the environment is so yeah. so special. So, so we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for the next year. Gabe, you mentioned that environment. I, I would guess it would be pretty alarming or just like, what is this when you walk into Bomb Walker for the first time and you got – 10,000-plus fans for a college baseball game. I know that there's plenty of MLB teams in California and out west, but kind of what was your first experience? What do you remember about the first day or night that you pitched in Baumwalker Stadium? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, I remember, well, I remember in the fall we had a, a scrimmage, and it was just a fall scrimmage, and quite a bit of people showed up, so that was pretty eye-opening. And then our first series was against JMU, and – um, that's when I kind of realized how loyal all the fans were is because it was about 35 degrees and it was still pretty jam packed for the first opening series. So, um, once that happened, I kind of knew they were going to show up through the thick and thin. And so it was awesome just to see how much support we had from the fans and, um, being able to pitch in front of that environment all year was one of the best experiences of my life. Gabe, walk us through the kind of the rest of your summary. Everybody talks about everything's become year round anymore, but, I just think about it. you completed the season that began in February. You'll you'll be with Team USA in in the summer, then back at it, and the, the 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 fall work that goes on with the Razorbacks. Kind of walk us through the rest of your summer, what it looks like, and kind of give our audience a glimpse of uh, of how tight the schedule is for for a player at your level right now. Is uh, you got you know well, it seems like a few weeks, and then you're back here in August for uh, for fall ball that starts in September. Yeah, I'm uh, so I'm here. I'm in Fayetteville till June 25th, and I'm just working with the strength coach and throwing some bullpens and live at bats just to get p- prepared for uh, Team USA. And then um, Team USA is from June 25th to July 5th, and then I'll come back to Arkansas after that and do. Uh, I'll be here for one more week, just lifting with the strength coach. Um, I'll probably I probably won't be throwing at that point, but I'll just be lifting. And then I'm going home for. Um, from July 13th to August 1st, and I'm just going to continue resting back home and, um, you know, serve my family and everything for a little bit, and then I'll be back in Fayetteville August 1st, and um, that's when we'll really start going with the strength coach, and, um, yeah, fall ball's right around the corner at that point. In, in fall ball, I mean, it doesn't get the attention, obviously, the regular season does. It's in the middle of football, but how important is that as, as a team and as a player – for everything start when that that's the beginning of it all coming together and kind of formulating the roster. Um, how important that is that in the process of what happens in the regular season? Uh, for a pitcher, I felt like it was very important. Just for me, it was thrown to all the catchers in fall and getting familiar with them. So, um, you know, I kind of knew how they worked and they knew how I worked going into the spring. Um, and then it was also just a test to see who could compete at the level like I remember when I came in I was having a little a little trouble in the fall and it was my first time facing college batters so um it was a little eye-opening it's just a little testing point for a lot of players and it's just getting ready for the season for the older guys but um yeah it, it fall ball is great and it's it's uh very important to get going before uh the spring Gabe we'll leave it there you Christian have a chance to be the 23rd and 24th guys from Arkansas to be on the team USA roster 
we hope you the best of luck, and we appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.